Hey, what's up everyone? Hopefully everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to bring another bring you another video on how to go about making yourself a NAN backup and making the EM emulation MMC as well. Um, if you guys are actually wondering what EMU MMC is, I'll leave this Reddit link down in the description below. Um, it actually tells you um, what it does and why you should do it. It's quite interesting. So, first off, you're going to need a modded switch. Um, if you don't, you can't do this process, unfortunately. I apologize. Um, so, let's get started. What you want to do is you want to um, get into the RCM mode um, with your Nintendo Switch. You want to use Teggy. You want to load this up. Now, under favorites, this came. these came with um, Tegra RCM, but unfortunately the Hakate is actually out of date. And as you can see by the folder right here, this is where the favorites are. This, These are where the bins are. Um, access loader is like long gone, nobody uses that anymore, so you're more than welcome to delete that. So you want to open up the GitHub of Hakate, scroll all the way down. And if you remember my previous video, I told you you don't need the bin file. So let's open this up. I'm just going to drag and drop the bin file to the desktop. Exit out of that. And I'm just going to keep this on the desktop for now. Um, you're more than welcome to delete this 5.00 and replace it with a 5.80. Um, please keep in mind, please keep things up to date as well. Um, if you want to drag and drop the new updated version file into your favorites, that's fine because it'll pop up here. But you got to click the add button. As you can tell, Fusey bin's right there. Now, if I went to Hikate, the new version, and add that, it'd be right there too. So, what you want to do is you want to inject this new payload, which is Hikate. All right, as you can tell that the RCM is okay. Um, now we're gonna, now we're just gonna inject this new bin file from Hikate onto the Nintendo Switch. So what you wanna do is just click inject payload. If you hear background noise, it's my AC. It's hot as balls out, so please excuse that noise. So let's inject this. All right, once we uh, injected the payload of Hikate version 5.8.0, you wanna go to the Emu MMC. Next, you want to go to create. You want to click on or touch the SD partition. Click continue. Click continue. Now, right here is important. Um, please, under the EMU MMC raw, please drag and drop to where it says 29% full or 29 full. Go to next step. This will be your partition, the SD card, your files and backup restored. Press power to continue. Now we're just backing up files. I'm going to click close. Next, you want to go back to create MMC MMCU. Click continue. Click part one. And this will take a little bit, depending on um, how big your, um, how, how much information your card has and how fast um, it reads and writes. done we created the SD partition for the emu MMC um, let's click close as you can see everything's done now it says enabled great that's what we like to see when hit close again 
Next, you want to go to Tools, go to the USB, and you want to do All right, great. As you can tell, everything's enabled. Before it wasn't, you want to hit close. You want to go to tools. Next, you want to go to USB tools. USB mass storage. You want to click SD card. Now, my cable is connected to the PC right now, and I'm going to show you that uh, the things were backed up. So let's go back to uh, the PC side of things, as you can hear by the dinging noise. All right, now we're back at the PC side of things. What you want to do is you want to go to your file manager, wherever that may be. It's going to say, now we've got two partitions, remember? Now, um, when you enable the uh, USB method from the Nintendo Switch to the computer, when you get back to the PC or your desktop or whatever, it's going to ask you to format. Click no, cancel, no, cancel, don't, don't format it. Because the partition's on the same SD card, and as you can tell by my uh, Windows Explorer I have switch SD and I got another USB drive which is E so I got two actually as you can tell you need to format the drive E before you can use it nope do not do that so E's E drive E you cannot use but we did back it up as you can tell the emu MMC right there there's raw one so we're good to go that's good so please remember people don't not do not format otherwise you're going to screw things up so the only way to get back into the nintendo switch please do not unplug um the system itself or take the sd card out or whatever what you want to do is come down to the bottom right by the clock and you want to eject the ums now since we ejected, now we could use the Nintendo Switch um, again. So what we want to do is you want to hit close. Next, you want to go to home. I'll go back to home so we could start all over brand new again and stuff like that. Um, this time, we're going to be making a NAND backup. So what you want to do is you want to go to tools. You want to go to backup EMMC. Next, you want to initiate the full EMMC boot to and boot one please click this now it's going to take a little while check it for free space there we go finish and verified it's done so we're going to close out of this then we want to go to emmc raw the gpp click or type or hit that and it's going to check for free space again please bear with me now depending on how big your card is and what the write speeds are it could take a little while so please it could be take it could be 10 minutes five minutes it all depends on how quickly the read and write is on your sd card um, that's why I say please get something reliable as an SD card. I'm a big proponent of the SanDisk. I've never had a problem since, even with uh, modifying the PS PlayStation Vitas. Um, I've been using the 512 gigabyte ever since. Um, please remember to get a 128 or higher SD card. Um, it'll save you big problems and big balls in the end. So just trust me. You want like. I don't know, 256 or a 512 SD card. Um, I left a list of how big uh, the Nintendo Switch games are as well. So just look at that if you, depending on what kind of games you want. But the bigger, the better. So I'm going to leave this um, and walk away from this while this is uh, backing the stuff up. And I'll come back to it when it gets done. So st stick with me. All right, as you can tell, I'm going to remove the camera, that uh, it got uh, finished about 15 minutes, around 30 seconds. Well, 15 minutes, 30 seconds, as you can tell. Let's close out of this. Let's close out of this. Next, um, what we want to do, we want to store this backup someplace safe on your, on your laptop or desktop. 
So you more than so let you could two things. You could either use the USB tools, go to the SD card, which I'm going to do. I don't know if you heard that, but it says, "Do you want to format drive E?" No, click cancel. The second method is to shut down this whole um, Nintendo Switch and take the SD card out and then insert the SD card back into the laptop or the desktop and back up your um, your folder. As you saw, everything got completed. Backups on the uh, desktop. Let's right click. My old rusty laptop sucks. It is 29.1 gigabytes. That's a big freaking file. All right. I'm going to put this back up in my Nintendo Switch backups. We'll close out of this. 
Um, you're more than welcome to delete the backup folder since you already backed it up on the uh, on your laptop or your desktop. So I'm just going to leave it as is for now. I'm going to right click, see how much space I got left. Use space. And I have 179 gigabytes left free. We're almost done, guys. All right. Um, we're going to go back to the Nintendo Switch. And we're going to get um, something called uh, keys. We're going to use a program called Lockpick. So let's go back to the Nintendo Switch side of things. All right. Um, don't forget to go to your bottom right corner and on your PC and just eject the SD card or the connection from the PC to the uh, Nintendo Switch. So close out of this. Um, the last thing we're going to be doing is getting your unique console, you uh, blue that, getting your console's unique keys. So let's go back to close. Let's go to home. Uh, it says right here, go to payloads. We're gonna enter in this, lockpick. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn you guys around. I put this down. Raise this. Sure hope you guys can see this. Um, but I'll just read the description anyway. Um, enter RCM, tap the payloads, go to lockpick, which we're at right now. Um, if the lockpick asks you to select between SysNAN or EmuNAN, choose SysNAN by navigating with the volume buttons and pressing the power button. If not, continue with step four, which is lockpick RCM should now inform you that your keys have been saved to switch on your SD card. Press any button to return to the main menu. Okay. So right from here, we're going to, uh, if lockpick asks you to select between SysNAM or, or EmuNAM. So it says dump from SysNAM or dump from EmuNAM. Um, what we want to do, we want to choose SysNAN. All right. So the volume buttons are on the side. Oh, okay, volume buttons go up and down. Power button is to enter, I guess. Nope. There we go. So that's what it just did, and um, looks like we're good to go. Um, I'll quick should now inform you that your keys have been saved to switch slash prod dot keys on your SD card. Okay. There we go. Wrote 836, 8,364 bytes to SD switch dot dev keys. There we go, prod keys right there. All right, I return to the main menu with the power button. Now it says navigate to power off with the volume buttons and select it with the power button. So I'm gonna power this bad boy off. Now I'm gonna insert the SD card into my laptop and I'm going to transfer over those prod keys to my backup folder and we're good to go. Alright, as you see I entered my SD cards in the computer. This pops up, the Switch SD. This is always going to pop up no matter what, unless there's a work workaround to get rid of this, but do not format. Let's minimize this. Go to Switch SD. There's your switch. There's your prod keys that we need. And what does it say right down here? Copy prod keys from the switch folder to your SD folder on your SD card to safe location. It is suggested to copy it in the same place that you copied your NAND backup. So let's do this. Open this. Go to documents. My backups right here. And I'm just going to drag and drop this right inside. Now, I will tell you, I'm not really too sure if I should delete title and prod keys, but I'm just going to leave it as is. And that's the picture I took. I'm going to drag and drop this because that's going to be inserted into the video. I'm going to delete the picture. Now, 
after you backed up everything, you're more than welcome to delete this, which I'm going to. Because it's a big-ass file. And we don't need it anymore. Or you could just leave it in there. It's up to you. But as long as you have a working backup, you're good to go. And there's the MU, the emulation MMC right there. And you guys are good to go. You got your keys. You backed up everything. Um, you got your keys, like I said. You made a NAND backup, which you really needed. And you made a emulation. So we're good to go. So we're going to continue launching custom firmware. And I already showed you how to launch custom firmware last night with uh, Teggy. So I'm going to do that again right now. All right. We're back on, into this payload. You want to do... I'll show you. It's enabled, as you can tell right there, which is good. SD card's back in. You want... You could browse around if you want. Check some stuff out. Console ID, whatnot, options. Um, I'm not too sure what all this does so far, but I'll look into it. I'm going to do launch. Now, do you want to do the custom firmware or do you want to do the stock? So it's totally up to you. And that that's pretty much it. So let's go to atmosphere. All right, take the little jig out, put this controller back on. There you go. Go to the system settings. As you can tell, I'm on 14.1.2 slash AMS. So the mod did work. Oop, hit the wrong button. Now, if everything works, go to Albums, and there you go. Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, just a quick tip. Before I get out of here, I was uh, searching f f uh, through the uh, video that I just made in the clips, and I noticed that the MU um, MMC is not showing. So I had to do some Google, and um, apparently what I was supposed to do is, which never told me in the... Uh, in the um, tutorial here is that I'm supposed to add some code into one of the INI files. So let's see. Um, you could download this link right here, um, put it in the bootloader folder on your SD card. If you plan to only ever boot into EMU MMC, you can edit the Hikati INI, erase everything, and and put only the following text in it. So this is the text. So, I already have my system hooked up to my SD. So, I'll go to it right now. Uh, where is it? Bootloader. Okay. As you can see here, it's pretty much the same minus um, Atmosphere FS50 EMU MMC. I don't have that. And it didn't stay any, anywhere in the tutorial. So, I copied it already, so I'm just going to paste it. And now when we go over to Hakate Payloader uh, and click on Launch, you should see three options now, which is launch into the stock system, you want to launch into the atmosphere system, or you want to launch into the emulated um, system itself. Um, so it's totally up to you guys. So that's one thing I just found out. And uh, I do apologize, um, not showing earlier. So I'm going to just f file, save, close out, close out of this, eject. And there you go. And you should see it over on the, uh, the launch section of the uh, Hikate uh, main menu. When you hit launch, you should see three options now.